Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. Here we can see a motorcyclist is involved in a road traffic accident. He suffers a complex humeral shaft fracture, which is plated. Post operatively, he complains of an inability to extend his fingers, which of the following structure is most likely have been Device. Here the options options are the unlearned nerve, radial nerve, median nerve, axillary nerve, and none of the above. So read the question very carefully and find out the key point from this question. Here we can see motorcyclist uh, involved in road traffic accident and the humeral shaft fracture. So this point is important that the fracture occurs at the shaft of the humerus and post-operatively he complains extent of the finger that means the extensor area of the hand is damaged or compromised so we have to find out a nerve which is closely related to the shaft of the humerus and it also supply the extensor area of the fingers so here we can see this is the humerus and the different part of the humerus uh, the different nerve present so fracture of the specific region will cause the damage of this nerve first of all here we can see this is a nerve which is the axillary nerve and it is located at the surgical neck of the humerus so when the surgical neck of the humerus is fractured then axillary nerve will be damaged then in the mid shaft of the humerus we can see there is the another nerve which is the radial nerve so mid shaft of the humerus fracture will cause the fracture of the or mid shaft of the humerus fracture will cause damage to the radial nerve and then here we can see this is the medial epicondylar area that means the medial epicondyle of the humerus when it is fractured then it will cause the damage to the ulnar nerve and this is the another picture which is very very important that this is the surgical neck and this surgical neck here we can see the surgical neck of the humerus and in this area axillary nerve present so there is damage to the axillary nerve is very common when there is fracture in the surgical neck of the humerus and there is also the posterior circumflex humeral artery present and in case of mid shaft of the humerus here we can see this is the mid shaft of the humerus for so for the mid shaft of the humerus there is a nerve which is the radial nerve so mid shaft of the humerus fracture may cause damage to this radial nerve and profunda brachii artery then you can see this area which is the supracondylar area and this in the supracondylar area this area just above the condyle supracondylar area when fracture at the supracondylar area there will be damage to the median nerve and brachial artery and here this is the medial epicondyle this area is the medial epicondyle so when there is a fracture of the medial epicondyle there is a risk of damage of this nerve which is the ulnar nerve and ulnar collateral artery so in this area all nerve are very very important again first of all surgical neck of the humerus here this is the axillary nerve then mid shaft of the humerus it is here this is the radial nerve then supracondylar fracture here median nerve and in the epicondylar area medial epicondylar area there is the ulnar nerve so radial nerve ulnar nerve median nerve axillary nerve they any of the nerve may get damaged during the fracture in the different part of the humerus. Here we can see this is the supply of the radial nerve and this pneumonix beast B E A S T beast B for brachioradialis E for extensors that means the all extensors of the arm all extensors of the forearm and all extensors of the hand are supplied by this radial nerve then we can see a for anconius muscle s for supinator and t for triceps so by this numeric it is very easy for us that the radial nerve it supplies beast brachioradialis all extensors anconius supinator and triceps so here we can see the another branches of the 
radial nerve which is the deep branch of the radial nerve and supplies the extensor surface of the arm and extensor uh, surface of the forearm and extensor surface of the hand so our answer it is now ready that the radial nerve because the fracture occurred at the shaft of the humerus at the shafts of the humerus and complaints extension of the finger is not occur and it is not us that the extensor of the arm forearm and hand it is done by the radial nerve and as there is the humeral shaft fracture in the shaft area there is the radial nerve very close to the bones so uh, during the breakdown or fracture of the mid shaft of the humerus there is risk of injury of the radial nerve thank you all